Hello and welcome. My name is Lindsay Hassett and today I will be sharing with you a persuasive speech called Someone Everyone Should Know. When you hear the name Leonardo da Vinci, most people think of his famous painting, The Mona Lisa. But what is not talked about is how extraordinary da Vinci was. And he was more than just a painter. He was an inventor, an architect, a thinker, and had many ideas about human anatomy. The way da Vinci made sense of the world was brilliant and something I think everyone should know about. His life-changing ideas way back in the 1800s have changed our world as we know it today. But unfortunately, we forget who came up with the ideas for these inventions in the first place. Da Vinci was a polymath. A polymath is a person with high level of knowledge about many subjects and uses that knowledge to solve real problems. Some subjects that Leonardo da Vinci studied were human anatomy, engineering, architecture, psychology, nature, and many more. He was naturally motivated to teach himself and study anything that was interesting to him. He did it all on his own because he was motivated to do so. He didn't learn any of this from a textbook or from school. He figured out many things on his own. Da Vinci also had fusionary and visionary ideas. Once da Vinci acquired a knowledge, he took this knowledge of these many different areas and he put it to work. His knowledge about birds helped him to design a flying machine where a person wears wooden wings to fly. He saw everything as interconnected. This was an idea never heard before. He had such futuristic ideas that people of his time were not able to understand. His inventions were way ahead of his time. Things that da Vinci thought up, such as machine guns, helicopters, and robots, were not invented until many years later. Since everything in his mind was connected, he applied his science to his art. He applied facts about nature to his scientific inventions. He also applied the ideas found in nature to his art. I'm sure people of his time thought he was weird or odd, but da Vinci didn't care what people thought of his ideas or him. He was dedicated to his passion and to his work. Because of da Vinci's dedication, he was able to conquer anything life threw at him. Da Vinci did not have a stable family situation. He was born out of wedlock to Katerina, 15-year-old orphan peasant girl who lived in a rundown farmhouse. She was seduced by an older man who was a lawyer. When he was an infant, da Vinci was sent to live with his father's parents. When da Vinci was five, he was sent to live with his father because his father's wife was not able to have children. Based on da Vinci's childhood, we see that he really made the most of what he was handed in life. Da Vinci was also left-handed, which was considered a curse or a disability in the 1800s. In spite of what others thought of his left-handedness, he bragged about it and saw it as a blessing. He broke the stereotypes of left-handed people and also learned to use his right hand. He developed both sides of his brain and eventually became ambidextrous. He embraced who he was even though he was different. Da Vinci's willpower to obtain knowledge led him to have many accomplishments in his life. That helped him provide a clear mindset when overcoming obstacles. Da Vinci demonstrated perseverance and thrived on knowledge. That approach is something we can all learn and use to improve our own lives today. 
My credits for this presentation are given to Gunderman 2019 and Colors of New York. Thank you very much.